Good morning. Uh, I'm Susie Ann Wiesner, and I'm grateful to join you today on behalf of Dignity Health and fortunate to serve with all of you to put the needs of our patients above all else. At Dignity Health, we all share a calling to provide exceptional health, health services to our communities. We believe that everyone deserves to be cared for with dignity and compassion, and I'm proud that our commitment to patient safety is central to our work at Dignity Health, central to our mission and values as a company, and within our culture as a community of caregivers. Dignity Health has made 14 commitments with the Patient Safety Movement Foundation, and I'd like to talk to you about three of them today. The first commitment is particularly near and dear to me, our commitment to improving care for women with hypertension and pregnancy. I'm a nurse, and I lead Dignity Health's patient saf safety efforts for maternal child health. As an organization, we are very concerned about the alarming national trends of increasing maternal morbidity and mortality. We have been working on improving perinatal care for quite some time, and we are among the many providers here in California and nationally addressing these concerns. By implementing a standardized approach to managing hypertension and pregnancy, we have shown a significant reduction in eclampsia and severe maternal morbidity. A couple weeks ago, we had a cr very critical patient arrive uh, to one of our hospitals with very um, high blood pressures. The team went into action, they implemented the practices and protocols we have in place at all of our hospitals, and with solid adherence to these practices, the team was pleased with their care, and the mother and baby did well. This was a great outcome. But we are not yet at 100%, every patient, every time, and therefore, we are not yet at zero. We have a lot more work to do. A second commitment I'd like to talk about is medication safety. Medication errors can occur at many points in the care continuum. They're all too common, and they can lead to significant harm for our patients. Our commitment to improving medication safety involves a suite of strategies that include smart infusion pump technology, as um, well as best practices around compounding medications, improving diligence with high alert medications, and a system-wide performance dashboard to measure improvement. Our hope is that we can avert harmful medication errors by enhancing our workflows and using technology to improve care. The third commitment that I want to share is our commitment to the program called CANDOR, which stands for Communication and Optimal Resolution. The patient-centered program supports timely and thorough communication when there's an unexpected event that causes patient harm. When things go wrong, healthcare leaders are skilled at finding out what happened and why, but this process is often not shared with the patient and the family. We can do better. It is better to communicate openly with patients and families and provide the information that we have, even if we don't yet have all the answers. Candor and our other commitments to the patient safety movement support our belief that the patient must be at the center of all of our efforts. We strive to care for the patient as a whole person, mind, body, and spirit. Through our commitments to CMS and the Partnership for Patients at Digni Health, we have spared 2,700 lives from harm in the past 12 months. And now we commit to the patient safety movement for further, to further reduce harm to our patients. This work takes the effort of so many, our staff, our nurses, providers, patients, and families. So I want to thank you, patient safety advocates. Thank you for sharing your experiences and your perspectives, which are all so critical to improving patient safety. Thank you for your passion for this work. Thank you.